Hey, it's Hannah, and I'm trying to get Banner to pay attention to me. I'm actually semi-responsible, and I wrote down my ideas, even though I'm starting to film this at almost 11 o'clock at night. I'm actually showing the least favorite part of my drawing process because I want to talk a bit about this character since the first week this video is up. Um, there will be an Instagram post, or you can do it in the comments because I understand that not everyone has Instagram. But basically you get to name this character, or help, help me name this character. I basically, out of the names, I do a poll of my two favorite and then y'all choose from there. And a little bit about him, he is a scientist or ex-government scientist that works with technology and his current job is a coffee shop worker. If you know a little bit about my characters from my sketchbook book tours and stuff, um, he's in the same universe as Pixel and Freya. Obviously character design things change a little bit from the first drawing of him and my second drawing of him, but basically the first drawing of him that I did is him kind of at, at his coffee shop job, and this is a bit of his personal life, kind of working on the computer, and so hopefully these two drawings can help you get a bit for his character, and you will be able to name him, and here's the first drawing that I drew of him, and you're going to see the current drawing that I'm drawing of him during this video. Also, apparently people think that if a dude has dark curly hair and a sort of beard that he looks like Jesus, because I got two drawn people telling me he looks like Jesus. No, I will not be taking Jesus as a name. This is days later because I decided to waste hours of my life on Genshin Impact because I wanted to get to Inazuma. And I am to Inazuma. I do eventually want to make a video on Genshin Impact, but that's not today. So, I made a video on my move, kind of how I was, or how I moved. So, if you don't know, pretty much I live in the same place for most of my life, and I just recently moved. I wanted to kind of talk a bit about the, the pros and cons, and kind of what I found while moving, because moving is really scary, especially if you have never moved in your life, or at least to a lot of your comprehension. So, the... So the good things of, uh, uh, about moving was I was near my family, and the house is a bit smaller, so I got to see my cats more, and the city that I live in just has a lot more heritage, and just cool things to do, because bigger place, or bigger city, um, more things to do. Also something that is really nice is this place is a lot more, um, I don't want to say liberal, but... Um, let's just say wears masks more and also something that I found helped because at first I was really annoyed that I was going to have no time um, during my break to be able to you know look at everything but it was actually nice like starting school right whenever I moved so it made me at least feel like this isn't just a vacation so I vacationed this place many times but Overall, I do really like it, and the people I've met are super nice. Even though I technically have a little bit more lists for the bad things, I still overall like my move. Um, one rain roads that are very bumpy. Um, I feel like if y'all actually live in this place, y'all might be able to tell where it is. But oh my god, driving. An absolute mess. Um, also... It's kind of just hard, like, meeting new people, and especially if you're like me and have anxiety, and it, I got really homesick, like, I think I went home, um, a month after I moved, because I was getting really homesick, and also, since it's a smaller place, well, basically, the place that we moved in accommodated us now more than the other place that I used to live that accommodated my life whenever I was a lot younger so we had to get a smaller place which it's a little bit annoying because you know I cannot get on discord calls at 11 p.m and also I used to live in a I guess a suburb but still even in the quote city that I lived near there's still a lot of nature so it's kind of a bit I guess jarring and more specifically, I, I did live near the beach, so that that is something I miss. But obviously, I overall, right now, am super happy with my decision. And obviously, everything is going to take an adaption. And some people adapt to change better than others. So, I don't know. 
I guess this is mostly for self-archival reasons, again, but May, you can relate to this experience. Maybe you are going to move and you kind of just want to hear someone else's input. But yes, here's the final drawing. Getting back to the art, I'm really proud of myself, or I guess challenging myself, and it's a piece I haven't shown yet because I'm saving it for a video that's going to be out soon, but this is... In that piece, I tried just a dark lighting, but this is the first time I did a double lighting, and I actually really like how it came out. Obviously, everything can be up for improvement. I cannot talk anymore. Follow me on Instagram. Like, share, and comment. Don't forget to tell your friends. Bye!